comic book superheroes are some of the most popular characters in fiction. Batman, Superman, the Avengers, and the X-Men are just the tip of the iceberg. But of course, superheroes wouldn't be what they are without a nemesis, and that comes in the form of supervillains. Supervillains are actually some of the most interesting and complex characters out there. Their motives for being evil, their aesthetic qualities, and their powers vary to the extent that no two are truly the same, and some are every bit as popular as their heroic counterparts. But exactly how much do you know about them? We think there are some facts about the best supervillains out there that might just surprise you. Here are 10 things you didn't know about some of your favorite superheroes' villains. Harley Quinn Given that she's become one of the most recognizable and popular characters in comic books over the past few years, it might come as a surprise to learn that Harley Quinn's origins weren't in paper form. The Joker's girlfriend actually started life as the Clown Prince of Crime's animated accomplice in the Joker's favorite episode of Batman the Animated Series back in 1992. She's since gone on to appear in nearly a thousand comics as well as the DCEU Suicide Squad. Deadshot Deadshot is the Suicide Squad member with the perfect aim. Something you might not know about the character in the comic books, however, is that he actually has a death wish, and that makes the Suicide Squad the perfect team for him. He accidentally killed his own brother and was plagued by feelings of self-loathing and guilt as a result. Consequently, he sought out a spectacular death of his own, although he never failed to put up a fight. But the fact is, he wants to die and puts no value on his own life whatsoever. Enchantress Enchantress is another Suicide Squad villainess, but in the comic books, she's actually been a member of several superhero teams. These teams have included the Justice League Dark, the Shadow Pact, and the Sentinels of Magic. And they're all essentially mystical versions of teams like the Justice League and Justice Society, brought together to deal specifically with supernatural threats. Her allies on these teams have included characters like Blue Devil, Dead Man, Detective Chimp, John Constantine, Madame Zandu, Nightmaster, Nightshade, Ragman, Warlock's Daughter, and Zoriel. And they've collectively fought against powerful supernatural beings like the Spectre. Steppenwolf It was recently announced that Steppenwolf will be the main villain in the upcoming Justice League movie. After deleted footage from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice emerged, showing the character in cahoots with Lex Luthor. But who is he? Very few people have actually heard of the character, so let's just give you the basics about this guy. For starters, he's Darkseid's uncle. Yes, that Darkseid's uncle. And he possesses almost as much power as his nephew. He's also the leader of the military on the New Gods Planet of Apocalypse, leading armies of Apocalyptian soldiers, parademons, and dog-like beasts into battle. Apocalypse the X-Men villain known as Apocalypse was once a man called N. Sabanur. That's something most people know thanks to 2016's X-Men Apocalypse. But what most people don't know is that N. Sabanur was actually a member of the organization that was a precursor to S.H.I.E.L.D. That's right, the ancient organization that would become the Strategic Hazard Intervention Espionage Logistics Directorate was called the Brotherhood of S.H.I.E.L.D. and actually had N. Sabanur in its ranks. Other members of the group included important historical figures like Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton, Archimedes, and Galileo, and they were the first group to ever send Galactus packing when he first attempted to devour Marvel's Earth. Doctor Doom Marvel comics are often criticized for copying characters. Thanos was based on DC's Metron and Darkseid, and Moon Knight was based on DC's Batman. But Marvel's most iconic villain actually had one of the most iconic villains in all of fiction based on him. We're referring to Doctor Doom, and none other than Star Wars villain Darth Vader was based on the character. From his scars to his armor, Vader's creators blatantly used Doom as one of the influences of his creation. It's just a shame that Doom hasn't been treated as well on the big screen as Vader has. Loki Tom Hiddleston has made Loki a household name with his brilliant performances as the god of mischief in the Thor movies and the Avengers. But even those who know the character from the comics associate him solely with being an adult male, and that hasn't always been the case. Loki has spent time as both a female and a small child in the modern comic book era, due to the nature of Asgardian reincarnation. And while there has been an actual female Loki because of how that all works, the villain's essence has also spent time inhabiting the bodies of both Lady Sif and the Scarlet Witch, so Loki really is no stranger to living life as a woman. Lex Luthor Lex Luthor is the archenemy of the most iconic superhero in comic books, Superman himself. With that in mind, you probably think he's all villain, something that Gene Hackman, Kevin Spacey, and Jesse Eisenberg will have implanted in your minds. But that's not actually the case at all. In fact, in the New 52 reboot, Lex Luthor joined DC's most celebrated superhero team, the Justice League. I love it! It happened after he saved Superman's life by removing a piece of kryptonite from his brain, and Luther went on to build a new watchtower for the team and recruited the powerful Shazam to their ranks. Thanos 
Thanos is an incredibly powerful cosmic villain from the pages of Marvel comic books. Able to take on entire teams of Avengers on his own, the villain also known as the Mad Titan has been picked to be the big bad in the ever popular Marvel Cinematic Universe. But in spite of his enormous power, did you know that he's responsible for some of the lamest moments in comic book history? Let's run through a handful. First of all, he owned the worst vehicle ever seen in a comic book, a helicopter known as the Thanos Copter. Second of all, he was arrested by a group of cops, a group of normal Earth cops. And finally, he was defeated by Squirrel Girl, a mutant with squirrel-like powers. Thanos doesn't seem so scary now. <laughs> the Joker The Joker is now the most iconic comic book villain of all time, and is arguably right up there with any other villain in terms of his cultural status. But that wasn't always the plan for the character. In fact, Batman's archenemy was actually supposed to be killed off in his first appearance. That was in Batman number 1 in 1940. But the comics editor saw something in the clown prince that made him keep him alive. The rest, as they say, is history. And the character has gone on to appear on countless media platforms, with Jared Leto being the latest to bring the Joker to life in Suicide Squad. Thanks for watching our list of 10 things you didn't know about superhero villains. Did you enjoy the video? Which other great facts about superhero villains do you know? Have your say in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.